okay hi guys so in this lecture we'll be continuing on seeing more on the conditions and the emissions of conditions at which the emission of certain particles take place so let me put down the tabular form first so this is emission of then condition then effect So if we are discussing the emission of beta particle which is a moving electron emitted from the nucleon or nucleus. So the condition for the emission of beta particle is that if n by p ratio is high and what would be the effect n by p ratio decreases. Okay. So we have let's say a atom X with atomic weight A and atomic number Z. So this disintegrates into atomic uh, atom Y with atomic weight. So it is also dissociating or emitting beta particles. So it would increase the atomic number and there would be no effect on atomic mass. Okay, so this is just fast moving electron emitted from nucleus okay next let us see an example of the emission so suppose we have hydrogen atom or rather let's say a hydrogen nucleus with zero protons and one neutron so it converts itself into a proton plus emission of a beta particle so neutron converting into proton plus emission of a electron okay so let's say we have carbon 12 so this is stable why this is stable because n by p ratio is 12 minus 6 which is a minus z divided by z which should be equals to 1 but if we talk about carbon 14 then this actually emits a alpha a beta particle with converting itself into nitrogen okay so here n by p ratio of carbon 14 would be 14 minus 6 divided by 6 which is a minus z upon z that should be equals to 8 upon 6 and n by p ratio here would be 14 minus 7 or a minus z upon z which would be equals to 1 okay next let us see gamma particle or gamma emission so gamma emission takes place because of high level of nucleus energy so this takes place if nucleus energy level is high okay and what is the effect nucleus energy level decreases okay so we have atom x atomic number z mass a so this this integrates into x z a plus gamma particle okay so let's say this was high energy nucleus high energy nucleus which gets converted into low energy or low nucleus energy so this is high nucleus energy rather it 
high nucleus energy gets converted into low nucleus, nucleus energy with the emission of gamma particle okay so we also write am here which is m means meta stable which means high nucleus energy okay so example of the same can be written as we have TC which is atomic number 43 and high nucleus energy gets converted into TC 43 with 99 plus gamma particle so this is electromagnetic radiation of high frequency gamma particle is electromagnetic radiation of high frequency okay so please remember that in the emission of gamma particle no change whatsoever takes place in mass number or a or an atomic number which is z due to emission of gamma radiations next let us see positron emission so positron emission and let's say we also discuss about um, electron capture case of electron capture so for both these we can we can write that the cause of this is or the condition in which this occur is if n by p ratio is low then what happens is the emission of these particles takes place and we get higher n by p ratio than the original one So let us see in detail what is what is the term which I am talking about as positron emission. So we have Z X A getting converted into let's say Y Z minus one Y A plus one electron E and one P one getting converted into and zero one plus a electron so this is a positron which is the anti of electron so beta particle is this minus 1e positron is plus 1e0 okay similarly we can we can see that a proton can convert into neutron by emission of a positron okay and we can also write that a positron can interact with or attack on a electron and form a gamma particle okay next let us discuss example of the same we have Na1122 getting converted into
10 Ne22 plus uh, emission of a positron. So N by P ratio here would be 22 minus 11 divided by 11 that should be 1 and N by P ratio here is 22 minus 10 divided by 10 this would be 12 by 10 so this gets converted from a lower n by p ratio to a higher n by p ratio okay and we already know that 23 and a 11 is, is stable because the n by p ratio in 23 11 20, 11 and 23 would be 23 minus 11 by 11 that is 12 by 11 okay and as the n by p ratio in 11 and a 22 is lower than n by p ratio of stable na which is 11 and a 23 it emits a positron as a result to get itself converted into a higher n by p ratio rather is or rather it's it moved towards uh, a atom which has higher or stable n by p ratio than its present n by p ratio okay so before ending this lecture i'll also like to discuss about electron capture so electron capture is or we are specifically talking about k shell electron capture because i mentioned this in the table so suppose we have zxa okay so this is getting con uh, this is taking a electron or capturing electron in other terms to convert itself into y atom having z minus 1 as the atomic number and a as the atomic mass so let's suppose this electron is coming from k shell so what is happening that electron transition takes place from higher energy level to lower energy level lower energy level okay so when this takes place then x-ray emission happens so this is the concept behind modern x-ray machines that suppose this was the nucleus let me draw it with a different pen this was the nucleus and we have another orbit oops yeah let me draw it again okay so suppose there are many electrons here and in the lower shell we have less electrons so when this electron capture takes place in the nucleus resulting in one more electron jumping from higher uh, higher energy level to lower energy level the emission of x-ray takes place because of electron capture of this k electron or k shell electron into the nucleus okay so the nucleus of this atom captures the electron from k shell 
and converts itself into z minus 1 by a and as a result electron from higher energy level transitions to a lower energy level transmitting x-ray just to as to fill this gap in k shell okay so with this we come to the end of this lecture in the next lecture we'll be looking at the summary of the table which we have discussed of emission of different particles and then we'll be looking at nuclear stability belt so till then good luck and good bye